If you're new to my page, I'm professionally diagnosed with antisocial personality disorder and narcissistic personality disorder. Here are some weaknesses that a sociopath has. Number one, we really struggle to plan ahead. I don't have any long-term plans for my future. It's extremely hard for me to actually think about the future and take the steps that it would need to achieve a larger goal because I'm so focused on instant gratification and my own personal pleasure in the moment. And a lot of us end up actually fucking ourselves over with our own behaviors. For example, any type of cutting corners and stuff like that, that can definitely ruin somebody's chances of achieving a long-term goal. Number two, we're very likely to be ostracized by society. Sociopaths have a failure to conform to social norms and follow authority. We hate being told what to do and if we don't want to follow a rule, we're not going to follow it. This can definitely make us far more likely to end up in prison, get fired from jobs, or be socially outcasted. Number three, we struggle to form meaningful relationships. Bonding is possible for a sociopath. It's something that doesn't happen very often. Most of our relationships are extremely superficial, based entirely on us receiving resources from a person rather than actually wanting to connect with them. This can definitely increase our dissatisfaction, depression, and loneliness. Number four, we really struggle to learn from past mistakes. I can't even tell you the number of times that I have made the same mistake over and over again and just simply haven't learned from it. We often don't consider the consequences of our own actions, which brings me to point number five. The fifth weakness that I believe I have as a sociopath is my reckless behavior and disregard for myself and others. I struggle immensely to think through the consequences of my actions before I act. If I want to do something, I just go ahead and do it and I don't really care what happens. This has definitely got me into a lot of problems in my life and it has endangered both me and others. Number six, we are heavily reliant on manipulation and exploiting other people. Due to our deceptive nature, it's very easy for us to lose the trust of the people around us, thus stopping us from getting what we want. Number seven, sociopaths tend to be arrogant as fuck. We can be very grandiose and like a narcissist, we tend to view ourselves as superior to everybody else. On top of my sociopathy, I'm also diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder, so you can imagine I'm quite the pleasure to be around. On a more serious note, having a sense of superiority definitely can hold you back in life. It can make you stop growing. It can inhibit your growth. If you don't feel like you have to improve in any type of way, then you're not going to get any better. Not to mention that having a sense of superiority and being as grandiose as I am can definitely put a dent in your social life. Number eight is emotional suppression. Sociopaths have a strong tendency to suppress their emotions, myself included, and this has been proven time and time again by science to lead to various mental and physical health problems. Suppressing your emotions is extremely unhealthy and for us it's second nature. It's something that we do automatically and a lot of us don't even realize that we are suppressing our emotions. Number nine is being emotionally unstable. I know a lot of you might be surprised that I'm saying that sociopaths are emotionally unstable, but we are. We're in the cluster B personality disorders, the dramatic and erratic cluster, for a reason. We struggle immensely with impulse control and controlling our anger and aggression. Going into rages and having poor impulse control, seeking revenge and having aggressive tendencies, as well as paranoia, are also very common in sociopathy. Some of us, myself included, also tend to be sadistic. Despite what a lot of society seems to think, struggling with anger and having issues in regulating that anger is a sign of emotional instability. Number 10 is trust issues and paranoia. Though not all sociopaths tend to experience paranoia, it is rather common. Many of us have deeply rooted trust issues stemming from the childhood trauma that made us this way in the first place. Being skeptical and untrusting of other people can definitely be a good thing that protects you. It's just when it's taken to the extreme, like it is in sociopathy, that it becomes a problem. I view the world as eat or be eaten, so I view most people as inherently untrustworthy and of having bad intentions. I naturally assume the worst of everybody. Being as severely untrusting as I am is a sign of a developmental issue in early childhood. It's not normal. It's a pathological thing. So those are a few of my weaknesses as a sociopath. And like I said, not all of these might apply to every person with sociopathy. This is just something that I heavily relate to and connect to and have seen in others with ASPD. At the end of the day, antisocial personality disorder as well as narcissistic personality disorder are mental health diagnoses. If they did not cause distress to the person suffering from it, then it wouldn't be considered a disorder.